All right, y'all. Uh, the other day, I was at a pawn shop. Uh, you you might have seen the short. Well, the other day I was at a pawn shop uh, picking up something else, and uh, that I had shipped to them, and they had this beautiful Marlin Golden 39. It's an original Golden 39A, and uh, man, this thing was just beautiful. It was sitting up there on the shelf. It is missing the the Marlin bullseye here, but but I have a a guy from the Marlin Facebook page, Larry, who is going to be sending me some. He actually sent me some, but uh, they didn't make the journey. So Larry, I appreciate it, and I know you said you're going to get me some more out Monday. Uh, I definitely appreciate that. So once I get that little Marlin bullseye replaced, uh, this gun is very nice overall. It was made in 1982. I've got it loaded up with 19 rounds of 22 long rifle. Uh, it will shoot shorts and it uh and, and and longs and long rifle. So um, I've always wanted one of these 39 A's. These are takedown models, and I've always wanted a a lever action in 22. I did have a Henry uh, 22 for a little while. That was a pretty good gun, but uh I like these old Marlins. I like the old Winchesters. So. When I seen this up there, I knew I had to have it. So I did fire some shorts the other day in it just to kind of test it and it does work. And man, those shorts are super quiet uh, out of this thing. If I had to say this would probably be a, I mean, I would think probably a 24 inch barrel. I'll have to measure it when I get home and uh, I'll leave that in the comments or, or across the screen either a 20 or a 24 inch barrel but very nice go ahead and uh see if i can put some on paper for you now i've never never owned one of these I will say it's kind of uh with these Remin, Remington uh, golden points or whatever, they're not quite going in like I want them to. You kind of got to do it easy. Shooting really good though. looks like it's kind of uh those first few shots it didn't really want to like when i was closing it the bullet was not wanting to go into the chamber but that seems to have worked worked itself out now so that's good hitting all around the bullseye you know this thing, I'm sure this thing had a scope on it. I'm sure it had a scope on it because it's got the uh, extended trigger spur here. I don't know if you can, I'm sure you can see that. But, uh, it don't have a scope on it now, obviously. And, uh, but it's shooting, uh, it's shooting all around the bullseye. Now I'm only about 15, 20 yards away, so I'm really not, really not uh, stretching it out just yet. I just kind of wanted to see where it was uh, printing at. That way I know for when I go back a little further. What I like about these guns over some of the newer lever action 22s is the weight of these things. I mean, they're not quite as heavy probably as a, a 336, you know, Marlin 3030, but 
they're much heavier than than most of your new uh you know lever actions like henry or i think uh i don't even know who all has one but this one it it, it feels much like you know a, a, a typical marlin um, 336 or 1894 so that's uh that's a good thing about it in my opinion In a minute, I'm gonna walk you down there and let you see the target. Um, I think I might've hit bullseye one time. I'm shooting all around it, but uh, so far, and that's it. That's all I get out of that one. So let's, uh, we'll walk down here and check out the target. Let me set this down for a second. I'm just gonna pull you right off the camera. So, I mean, off the tripod. So like I said, that was only about 15 to 20 yards. And, uh, you know, shooting all around. I haven't really tested out to see what it likes now. So I'm gonna show you this target and, uh. So there's the target, shooting all around. It looks like I'm shooting a little bit to the left most times. And uh, I'll do some adjusting on that site sooner or later and uh, see what I can come up with. but. And also test out some different kind of ammo. Right now, mostly all I have is I do have some 22 shorts um, that I'll that I'll show you. And uh, but right now, most of what I have is the uh, the Remington Gold Gold Tip or Gold Point or whatever they're called. So um, that's what I'm shooting right now. I, I do have a few lead ones in the ammo can that are left over. I think those might be, uh, I don't know, those might be Remington 2 or they might be Winchester, I'm not sure, but I might load up a few of those and I'm also going to load up some shorts and uh, I don't have any longs, so I can't load any of those up, but I do have shorts and I do have long rifles, so I'm going to load some back up and come back to you. Alright, so what I've done is I... Uh, I got five rounds of each so the uh the lead ones that i have are super x so they're winchester so i'm gonna load up five of those one I'm trying to do this on camera where you can see and five and then i'm gonna load up five of the golden ones which are remington All right, and the first ones I shoot are going to be these little bitty shorts from CCI. Hopefully you'll be able to uh, hear the difference in them when I'm shooting them. So uh, the last ones, the last ones will be the, uh, the CCIs. And the first ones will be the lead ones from Winchester and in the middle we'll have the uh you know the Remington the gold tip I can't remember exactly what they're called I have to look but uh they're gold tip or gold copper plated bullets or whatever so all right let me get out there and uh, get me get you set back you know set back up and uh we'll go from there I always say that we'll go from there but I really don't know what else to say so we'll go from there all right, try to set it up a better a better angle this time, but you can see I'm only about 15 yards away. And uh, I'm really just trying to see which one of these uh, shoot more accurate before I back it up. So again, these are the Winchester Super X lead bullets.
they seem to cycle pretty well. All right, let's walk down there and see uh, see what we did. I ain't gonna lie though, um, I was having a hard time actually seeing the thing, but whoo, I think you're gonna like these much better. I mean. That is what a group should look like. All but one in the bullseye, and it's uh, touching the bullseye. So compared to that, and that, <laughs> those uh, Winchester Super X seem pretty accurate. So for sure, I'm gonna have to buy some more of those. Let's test out the shorts now. We'll test out the shorts on, on that target there. So. I gotta say, I'm, I wasn't sure if I was hitting it at all. I was like, man, these things might be going all over the place. But uh, I'm only 20, uh, 15 yards away. But I can tell you, I need glasses. And I don't wear them. I got some reading glasses, but I, I only wear them when I'm reading. When I start getting down to the fine, you know, the fine stuff, I don't want to admit I'm getting older, but I have a hard time seeing it. So I'm gonna... Uh, set you back on the tripod and I'm going to shoot the uh I'm going to shoot the uh the golden ones now so since I'm going to be shooting the golden ones I'm going to go ahead and shoot that target that I've already shot or I may go ahead and shoot the middle target since we know all those are in the middle except for one and uh see how it does I hope y'all can see. The sun's so bright I can't tell if uh, everything's on camera or not. All right. Now, I'm going to shoot the right target with the 22 shorts. I'm sure you'll be able to hear the difference. So, uh, let's see. My son's pellet gun is about five times as loud as this when you're shooting these shorts. Should be it. That's it. Let me set this down. All right. So the best performer you'll see in a second here, by far, is the Winchester Super X. So the Winchester Super X, where all those in the middle, and then this one right here. And then one, two, three, four, and one of them must have hit bullseye. And so, um, but, you know, but they're kind of spread out. They was really spread out over here. That's all the golden tip Remingtons too. This is the uh, the little CCI shorts, which really isn't too bad. But, uh, I mean, hard to beat that, that Super X. So I need to buy a bunch more because that gun clearly, clearly likes the Super X. So uh, I'm gonna load up a few more and uh, just shoot for some fun and and uh, just just enjoy the gun for a few minutes. So
yeah man this thing's shooting great um that steel can i have out there it's an old propane tank or some kind of old tank it's probably about 30 yards out but uh let's see here we'll kind of turn you around this way and we'll just kind of shoot out there on that bank hope y'all can see this taking out the very tip of that dirt hill out there that way y'all can kind of see the smoke when I hit it or dust I should say that's it thank y'all for watching uh, this little uh, my first time with this little 39A. First time ever shooting a 39A, period. Now, this is the first one I've owned. I've never known anybody that's had one to even try one out. But I like old lever actions. I like old revolvers. So when I saw this, you know, these things speak to me when they're sitting up there on the rack. It didn't even have the Marlin bullseye to be able to see it up there on the shelf. But I knew it was a Marlin. And, uh... They not they not cheap anymore, but I knew I had to have this and uh, So actually I put it on layaway. So I've been paying on it for a little while I made a few payments on it and then I just went ahead and got the whole thing out. So um, I'm impatient like that sometimes. So all right, I backed up to about 60 yards 50 60 yards From my propane tank back there. I can all I can see is about From here. It looks like about six inches of the top of it. Um, because it's kind of sitting on a downhill slope. But I'm going to see if I can hit it anyway. Got it. Missed it. yeah man Let's talk about fun so i can only see the the top of it about this much and a few times i hit the dirt or maybe twice or two or three times but uh still having fun marlin 39a actually it says original golden 39a so i don't know if there's a difference but that's what this one is made in 1982 thank you for watching see you on the next one